Hi, I'm Melissa Tumwoka. Here's your Channel TV news update for March the 6th, 2020. The Minister of Health has given an update on efforts to stem coronavirus spread in Nigeria. According to Dr. Sage Hanire, the level of surveillance activities has increased at different ports of entry into the country and also personnel training for intensive care units. The Minister also reminded Nigerians not to panic and refrain from rumour mongering. He also re-emphasised the importance of regular hand washing and proper regulatory hygiene practices, among others. In the meantime, three persons suspected to be infected with the coronavirus disease were identified and are being tested in Lagos Isolation Centre. The Lagos State Commissioner for Health disclosed this in a tweet Thursday evening. One of those involved is a Nigerian who returned from France three days ago, a second entered the country from the UK and a third from China. Elsewhere, the Senate has approved President Muhammadu Buhari's request to borrow the sum of $22.7 billion. Members of the Upper Chamber of the National Assembly approved the request after a heated debate yesterday in Abuja. President of Senate Ahmed Lawan, however, stressed that the Senate would follow very strictly how the executive arm of government would use the loan. On the international scene, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has dropped out of the Democratic presidential race after failing to win a single state on Super Tuesday, including her own. Her withdrawal makes the Democratic race effectively a two-man contest between Biden, the 77-year-old former vice president, and Sanders, the 78-year-old Vermont senator. And finally in sports, Odion Igalo has ruined Wayne Rooney's hopes of leading Derby to an FA Cup upset against Manchester United as Nigerian strikers double sealed a 3-0 win in the fifth round on Thursday. Well, that's a news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Melissa Tomoka. Thanks for watching.